guys, it's Miss Vanessa here at Huntington Valley Library with another recommendation list for you. I figured by now some of you might be going a little stir crazy in your own homes and you might want to travel to other places. So today we are featuring some books that deal with travel. Um, and I have a bunch of different ones for you. So our first one is called 125 Wacky Roadside Attractions. Um, if you are missing road trips and you want to know what weird places you could go visit eventually on a road trip, this is the book for you. Um, it has all sorts of fun and weird things in it, and not just from the United States, but from other countries as well. Um, so yes, if you've heard about Stonehenge, this apparently is Carhenge, and you can read all about it in 125 Wacky Roadside Attractions. For those animal lovers out there, many of you may know that Australia features a bunch of animals you can't find anywhere else. This book, Outback, The Amazing Animals of Australia, is a foticular book. It has moving pictures of animals in it, um, and it does feature those cool animals that you can only find in Australia or some that... Um, are just featured in Australia. I think there's a camel here, you can find those in other countries, but it does have really cool facts about Australian animals. Our next book is for you food lovers. This one is called The United Tastes of America. So it features food from around the country. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys, we will look at Pennsylvania, if I can get, this open. It also has recipes. So the featured recipe for Pennsylvania, of course, is soft pretzels. So you guys can find out what kinds of food people love all around the country and maybe try to make some of those recipes as well in the United Tastes of America, an atlas of food facts and recipes from every state. That one's really fun. Okay, if you want to go a little farther away, you need to really get out of here. How about a trip to space? This one is a brand new book. We just put it in the library this month. It is Smithsonian Space, a visual encyclopedia. And of course, like any good space book, I didn't open it to the best book for pictures, but it's gonna have lots of cool photographs of space that I know you guys are gonna wanna see. So. We have this one, and of course, even if you can't get this one, we have tons of other great space books for those of you who really need to get out of this world right now. Another out of this world place is Down Deep in the Ocean. This is another really cool nonfiction book that we got last year. It's the Smithsonian Ocean, Our Watery World, as you've never seen it before. And again, this one's gonna have all sorts of cool photographs in it and you can find out some cool ocean facts as well. So I highly recommend that one. You may have noticed that we are standing by our Who What series books, but there are also Where Is books. This one is Where Is Machu Picchu. Of course, that is in Peru, um, and you can find out all about it in this book, but we also have Where is Stonehenge, Where is Alcatraz, we have a bunch of the Where is books. So if you love geography and find about new places, you can check those out. This one came out this last year. In this book, you're going to take a trip to Thailand. If you want something that's a bit more of a narrative nonfiction to give you a story that happens or that happens somewhere else, this one might be a good one to try. It's about a Thailand soccer team that got stuck in a cave and it's about their amazing rescue. This one actually just was an honoree for a number of youth media awards. So it was a finalist for the Yalso Award for Excellence in Nonfiction for Young Adults. It was an honoree for the Robert F. Siebert Informational Book Award. And it was also a Newbery Medal honoree for the most outstanding contribution to children's literature. So this one, I've heard it's really good. I haven't read it yet, but that might be one that you wanna check out if you're looking for a story set in another country and also a true story. 
The last one is probably my favorite because this is the one that if I were to spend hours looking at a book, it would probably be this one. It is the Atlas Obscura Explorer's Guide for the World's Most Adventurous Kid. And it features all sorts of really amazing places around the world that you can visit. Um, it doesn't feature photographs, but it does have these amazing illustrations. I'm just gonna show you one of them. The place probably that I wanna visit most in the world is the Waitomo Glowworm Caves in New Zealand. Um, so it features all sorts of cool places like this. And the page right after it oh, has the towering tree houses. So there's some really cool things in here that you may not know about, and I highly recommend checking out. You can create your bucket list for when you can travel again. And these are all available through our online catalog. Unfortunately, none of them are available digitally currently, but we are hoping to have all 13, the book about the Thai soccer team, available for you guys soon on Libby. Um, and that is it. I hope you guys enjoy your travels through books.